we're John and Christine Raby and our Advent devotion is on the gift of life. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness a light has dawned. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2 In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were created through him, and apart from him not one thing was created that has been created. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. That light shines in the darkness, and yet the darkness did not overcome it. John 1 verses 1 to 5. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the gifts that we have received in Jesus. We thank you especially for the gift of life. Let's read what Jesus himself had to say upon the subject. Jesus said again, <clears throat> Truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep didn't listen to them. I am the gate. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come so that they may have life and have it in abundance. John 10, 7 to 10. When I was a young teenager, I was with a group of lads crossing the Carnev Mountains in North Wales with our packs on our backs, camping for two nights. On the first night, we were camping by a sheepfold. We were round a campfire under the stars, I think, and one of the leaders was explaining this parable to us. He was saying that the shepherd in this picture would lie across the gap in the wall of the circular stone sheepfold to protect the sheep within the fold. Then in the morning he would lead them out to good pasture. These sheep were not like our silly sheep. These sheep would hear their shepherd and would follow his voice to good places. Jesus tells us that he comes to give us life. This is not physical life, clearly we've all got physical life to be doing what we're doing now. But real life, God's life, eternal life, abundant life. Much that is in this world reeks of death, not life. It reminds us of the thief who came to steal and to kill and to destroy. Destructive relationships and behaviour within and outside the family, soul-destroying work, much that is on social media, lives focused on self. It reeks of death. Jesus came to give us something of a different nature something of a completely different character, abundant life, 
eternal life life that can transform relationships and how we live a life that says no to that which is destructive and selfish life for which we God's children were always intended how do we first experience that life truly <clears throat> I tell you anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not come under judgment but has passed from death to life John 5 verse 24 we too as we demonstrate that life can be the light of the world to those who are around us let's pray Father, we thank you that all that we experience in life that is truly good is a gift from you. Thank you for the gift of life. If we are seeking you, may you help us to find the eternal life that is in Jesus. And this Christmas season, may you so fill our lives with your Holy Spirit that our lives demonstrate and communicate abundant life.